And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. One little hair, and then I, I plucked it out. Oh, well, Daddy's Aunt Bert was completely gray by the time she was 30. Aunt Bert? Who died of lupus when she was 35? I hope I got Mama's jeans. Shoot. What y'all getting? Um, the Chinese chicken salad. You've had that here, haven't you, T? Mm -hmm. That's very good. You know, Daddy's family had all kinds of bad luck, didn't they? See, have you heard anything from the insurance company about the fire? No. Well, why are they stalling? You called them, right? Yeah, three times a week. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some water. There you go. Harry. Hey. Are you okay? I just have a lot on my mind. You know. She's having a panic attack. Oh, well, well, then we should go. We don't have to stay here. I can cook us something at home. No, I can handle this. Why don't we go to the lake? Okay. Yeah, okay. let's just go. Maxine. Take yeah, I got it. Okay, come on, just keep it. Oh, oh, can I help? Um, uh, Harry? I don't know. Just, just breathe. Who's that man? Don't worry about it. I have asthma. You can't breathe, right? Well, you stop trying. Just, just hold your breath and keep on holding. Now, that's good. Now, let it all the way out through your mouth. Let this, this moment will pass, so don't try to fight it. Now, just... Inhale slowly, slowly through your nose, all the way down through your chest, down to your diaphragm. Good, good. Now exhale, exhale slowly through your nose. Good, good. It's all right. Hi, baby. You all right? Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, are you are you a doctor? Uh, psychologist. My card. Thank you very much for helping us out. Hey, no problem. Maybe you should check in. Are you uh, feeling better? Yes, sir. Thank you. See. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. Slow. Come on, relax. All right, it's all right. Nice try. Well, your ride's just better than mine. Maybe I'm just a better driver. Man, please, I've whipped your butt in every race. No, you haven't. You ever think about girls? Huh? It's no big deal. You can tell me if you do. Dad warned me about these kind of questions. There's no right answers. I think about you. I mean other girls besides me. Like, models are singers. You ever think about them or how they look? I won't be mad if you do. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so you fantasize about other girls? That means subconsciously you don't want to be with me. Subconsciously? Keisha, look, I don't fantasize It's okay. I'm cool about it. I appreciate your honesty. I haven't said anything. Since you'd rather be with another girl, I think we should break up. Then you can be with her. Who? 
whoever. doing? Leaving you a note. Oh, well, you couldn't just leave a message on Gloria's desk? I didn't think about it. What can I do for you, Damon? I was trying to give you a heads up. Mara's going to ask you to consult on an endorsement deal I'm working on with Kevin Tucker. Oh, well, there's no need to leave a note. Just set up an appointment with Gloria. Thanks. Okay. Um, when I was leaving the note, uh, your list of therapists sort of jumped out at me. <clears throat> it did, did it? Yeah, well, if you have a hard time finding someone, I can give you the name of the person I used to see. Thank you, Damon. But I have this under control. And it makes me a bit uncomfortable to know that you were going through my things. I apologize. Gee, I, it wasn't intentional. Nothing with you ever is. Oh, uh, sorry. I was... Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. He was just leaving. <laughs> Actually, I was just escaping. I suggest you do the same. I will trade you these. These and uh, could you check out this Dr. Pruitt for me? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Hatter. Yep. Hatter. Hatter. Holy, oh, gotta get me some of that. Man, you sick? Yeah. <laughs> How's Samantha and the baby? They're beautiful, man. You know, she can have ten more as long as her rack stays out there like that. It's like the titty fairy paid us a sweet visit, man. Pow, pow, pow. Damon, these things are they're fucking huge. <laughs> All right. This is the new marketing plan to raise your profile. I hope that's a fancy way of you saying you're getting me more money. Something like that. Look, I've been on these people at OxyWater night and day, and they finally realize you're the right guy to endorse their product. We're still working out the terms, hoping to get something solid by the time we meet with the executive. Uh, great, man. Because they've been dicking me around forever. No, they're not dicking you around. They're businessmen. It's got to be right on paper. But it's going to happen. See, now that's what I'm talking about, Dave. I'm so glad you're my agent. We're on a roll now, hey, baby. We're gone. Let's keep it going. Hey, I'm with you. I'm so with you, man. Oh, can you come to that press party with me on Thursday? I can't. But don't forget to go over those publicity questions I gave you. I got all my answers memorized. Convince me over dinner? Let's do it. You're buying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you get that solenoid checked out? Yeah, sparks right up now. All right, cool. We need you to work Sunday. Oh, well, if you don't... You got plans or something, you know. No, no plans. What's up with overtime pay? Over what? I, I can't work for the same money anymore, Kenny. <laughs> All of a sudden, huh? Well, I don't think I'm asking for too much. I mean, I I've been here since the beginning, sweating right alongside you. But I can't do any more Sundays without overtime. You know, Sundays have never been overtime. Time for that to change. Look, all the other changes happening around here. I'll get somebody else to do it. Dr. Pruitt, nice to see you. No, 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 Jackson. I hate the artificial divide created when I address you by your first name and you address me with the referential doctor. Yeah, I understand that. I, I get to just be Terry, you get to be Dr. Pruitt. Now are we supposed to feel comfortable, you know, like equals? Well, exactly, exactly. Which is why I always hold my first sessions in the park. Neutral territory. <clears throat> well, let's see. PhD from UCLA. Served two years in Columbia with the Peace Corps. Speech writer for the president for two years. Uh, Sub-chair for the National Think Tank Symposium. Well, what, are you surprised I checked you out? Well, anyone would lie about having an asthma attack rather than admit you're suffering from a 
a panic disorder has an image to maintain, right? Both public and private. And it's also very thorough. It doesn't like to leave a lot of things to chance. Basically, you had to check me out. So, no, I'm not surprised. Can you help me, Dr. Pruitt? Absolutely. We just need to get to the root of your anxiety. Your fear. Take away its power. Well, I don't have 10 years to spend in psychotherapy. Well, good, good, because uh, I never see a patient longer than one year. It's kind of arbitrary, isn't it? No, no, it's perfectly calculated. I mean, if, if I can't help you in 365 long days, and I can't help you at all, I mean, you got a bigger problem, and life was too short for me to go on that particular journey with you. <laughs> I treat panic disorders, period. So, what are you afraid of? God, I don't know. Nothing. Oh, no, 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 you have to be afraid of something. Panic attacks are fear-based. I mean, some say it's the fear of fear. I mean, there are other experts who would tell you well, that... Well, let's just do away with all the textbook mumbo-jumbo. Terry, <clears throat> you have to learn to listen. How is this music going to help me do that? By making you listen. I'm trying to explain your illness, and immediately you take over and tell me what I should be telling you. Now, that is bad listening. That is bad music. <laughs> well, no, not in my opinion, it isn't. So every time you don't listen, I play the music. Oh. Whenever I hear it, oh, I just, you know, I relax, I close my eyes. I'm in another world. And that is what I'm going to help you do. Learn to relax. Mm -hmm. So you can go to another place when you need to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, laughing. This is good. This is good. Terry, there's nobody who does what I do better than me. So if you want to be well, I'm your guy. I want to be well. Good. Good. So here's your homework then. Okay. Now, next time we meet, yeah. I want you to bring a brand new journal, your favorite writing instrument, mm -hmm. and the person that you trust most in the whole world. What? No, okay, let me amend that. Bring the person closest to that description living in Chicago. No fair showing up empty handed. <laughs> Till next time. Have a good day, Dr. Pruitt. I will. So it's over? Yep. What happened? Honestly, I don't know. One minute we were playing off-road fury, the next we were over. Man, you have to say something to get her mad. Nah, take that back. You don't have to do anything wrong for women to trip. Exactly. I'm never telling her the truth again. Wait, what'd you say to her? That I think of other girls. Oh, man, I can't believe you fell for the okie doke. What, man? I wasn't talking about regular girls. I was talking about girls like Janet Jackson and Tyra Banks. And you thought that would make it better? She said she wouldn't get mad if I told her. Maybe I should go talk to her. Ahmad, my man, whatever you do, don't do that. Besides, now you're free. We can kick it like we used to. Talk to whatever girls we want, whenever we want. Reggie, man, you still don't have a girl. And Keisha's the only girl I want to be hooked up with. I don't even know how we got on her. Hey, 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 Grandmother's hey. I didn't have to go get Keisha back. I take that show off to the hoop. Hello? Hi, um, I need five sets of each of these before lunch. I can't do it. I just started a job. Okay, well, you know, do, do what you have to do, okay? You know, last time I checked, Lori, I don't think I was working for you. So, sorry, what? I said I don't work for you. So you can lose that master slave tone in your voice. Okay, I, I don't have time to argue right now. If you came with a different attitude, maybe you wouldn't have to. Look, 
You work in the copy room at Moore and Freeman where, where my boss is a partner, so you work for her and, you know, Chris, I can ask you for whatever she needs. And I'll do it when I get to it. Okay, I need five sets before lunch. calendar about that client endorsement him and Marvel were working Yeah, on. he said he wouldn't need you. After all, he's having Phyllis Meredith work on it. Look, I just had another run-in with Chris in the copy room, and... Got it. I'll handle it. Did you ask Phyllis Meredith to look over the endorsement contract? Yes. I thought you were bringing it to me. I was, until you made it clear you didn't want me around you or your office. No. What I said was, stay away from me personally, not professionally. Great. Well, why don't you keep me informed of which roller coaster we're on so I can keep up? Maybe it's confusing because you're having trouble distinguishing between the two. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am confused. Because everything's personal to you, Terry. Talk to Gloria. She'll squeeze you guys in. It's going to end up on my desk anyway. I might as well start there. I'll just say, Keisha, we made a mistake. I didn't want to break up, and neither did you. Obviously, you were thinking about someone else. I trust them both equally. Well, if that's true, Terry, how come there are things that you tell Burr that you don't tell me? <laughs> how would you know that, Maxine? <clears throat> Maxine, there are some things that I tell Burr that I don't tell you because you would freak out, and you know it. And there are some things that I tell you that would have her going off the deep end. Like so, what? Well, this is not why we came here. No, actually, Terry, that is exactly why they did come here. I want to establish a dynamic for your personal relationships. Oh. Hmm. She tries to dominate. Always has. Ah, control. Well, now, where do you think that comes from? Daddy. He always treated her like an adult, so she felt like she had to boss us around. Mm -hmm. Well, if Daddy treated anyone special, it was you, Bird. You know, Daddy's baby girl. Oh, that's true. Oh. But Terry was Mama's favorite. Firstborn, her little angel. Oh, please. She was harder on me than either one of you. If I didn't get all A's, I got my butt beat. Wait, so you think you're the only one that got punished? Uh, 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 could I just interrupt here for a second? Wait a second. What about the time you lost my bike and I got grounded? I one day, I'm the one who couldn't go to her 10th grade prom because the two of you would not tell the truth about who broke the washing machine. Yeah, I did not break that damn washing machine, machine okay? Well, you always have to that washing machine to go through the same thing. You had no business to do that to me. Anyway, Terry did not break that damn machine. Because you did, and you wouldn't put it on me. And then, you know, Mama, you don't know what to do. What you would do today. I'm a sunshine. It's this forced listening technique to make us shut up and pay attention to him. <laughs> That's a great song. That really clears the air. Well, thank you, ladies. I, I, I think I've heard enough to uh, get an idea of the chaos in Terry's head. Well, you don't think we're the problem, do you? Uh, no. I mean, the, the fact that you came here demonstrates that you want to be part of the solution. Of course. But uh, I need to talk to Terry alone now. All right. Well, um, is that all right with you, T? Mm-hmm. Well, he told us to tell the truth. Sorry, sorry. Just put your seatbelt on. Call me later. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So. So. <laughs> My family. Well, here's the uh, number of a doctor who will write you a prescription for clomipramine. Uh, for now, it'll help you get through the rough days. I thought that's what I was doing here. Why do I need drugs? Well, to help you control the panic attacks. Because right now you have, you have stress, you have anxiety, you have a certain level of family dysfunction, which uh, triggers the attacks. And uh, until we can make some adjustments, the attacks will continue. I'm not taking drugs, Jackson. Well, uh, just fill the prescription. You know, keep it at hand. It uh, doesn't mean you have to take them. It just means you'll have them in case you change your mind. Uh, my parents aren't home. Do you know Reggie Walker? Oh, uh, no. What has that fool done now? Uh, no. You need to let me in. I can't let strangers in when my parents aren't here. You're only making things harder on yourself. Open up this door now. Now, I know it's been hard on you. 
the girl doggy like that in public. If this cop won't stand it right here, I swear I kill him. I'm gonna kill him anyway, right in front of this cop. Don't worry though, I got you. So my cousin agreed to come over and cheer you up. Now how is making me think I'm about to get arrested gonna make me feel better? Does this make you feel better? We've been sitting across the street for a half an hour waiting for your parents to leave. Um, why is your cousin, the cop, taking off her clothes? Because she's a stripper. So, where's your bedroom? Uh, my... It's right up there, cousin. Good. Shall we? Go ahead, player, player. Matt, are you crazy? My mom said she'll be back in 15 minutes. Good, because he only paid for 10. So what you gonna do? I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> player, player. I can do for you? This is not happening. It's not happening. Uh, how about a feel? All right. All right, time's up. This is the best day of my entire life. Mr. Rice and I just Hey, Terry. Hi. What happened? What happened to going out? Well, we decided to stay in instead. Figured we'd get more done. Well, great. Well, if I had known we were staying in, I would have ordered something. Oh, Damon ordered for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Damon. You're welcome. Here it is: lemon chicken and brown rice. Mm. Your favorite. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, the only things that we haven't agreed on are, are the travel expenses for DM and number of promotional dates. Well, Kevin won't budge on those points. He's your client. You go back and you try to reason with him. Okay, now these Oxywater folks are hard negotiators. We have to close this deal before they change their mind about Kevin again. Thanks for the great insight. I think Terry is right. We really need to close this quickly. You guys, let's just take a break and enjoy dinner, okay? Actually, I would like to continue. I don't want to be here all night. Well, I thought you lived here, Terry. <laughs> no. Sam and I have a hot date. Hmm. Was ist denn mit euch los? Ihr benehmt euch wie bei alte Waschweib. Wenn jemand eine Frau wäre, würde sie sich auf den Zug werfen. Mara, do you have a call on line one? I'll be right there. Excuse me, guys. What insults were you whirling at me in your native tongue? I said you had beautiful eyes and a great smile. Oh, bullshit. Oh, oh, hey. That's probably the language of a professional. Oh, God. Well, what exactly is professional conduct, Damon? Going to a junior associate and conning her into doing her boss's job? I mean, do you have any idea how that could have possibly damaged my relationships at this firm? Well, from the rumors at this firm, you've done a pretty good job of ruining your relationships all by yourself. Sorry about that. No problem. <clears throat> so what page are we on? 14. We're on page 14.
you have a minute? Sure. Excuse me. Chris in the copy room has a real problem. With what? With my assistant, with me. You're not getting your copies? I'm getting them, Ray. But I'm also getting an attitude that's entirely unprofessional. He's rude, hostile, and I'm sick and tired of it. I'll talk to him. No, Lawrence has already done that. I've also tried. It's time for him to go. Now, as partner at this firm, I shouldn't have to put up with this. Terry, it's hard for a young black man to find a good job. We shouldn't fire him unless we have to. Ray, we are not doing our people any favors by employing them if they can't fulfill the most minimal requirements. We shouldn't put skin color before excellence, Ray. That's just not right. I don't appreciate your tone, Terry. Hello. Bert. Terry. Are you okay? No. Um, okay, we'll we'll call Dr. Pruitt, all right? Let me get his card. Okay. But you remember to breathe? Mm-hmm. Just remain calm. You can try to relax. Hold on. Jackson Pruitt. Dr. Pruitt, hold on. T, go ahead, I got him. Jackson, hi. Are you having an episode? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think so, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Hang in there. I, I only live a few minutes away. Okay, thank you. Start taking these. I stopped by the drugstore and I got your prescription filled. How do you know I, I didn't fill it myself? Well, because you wouldn't have called me at 10 p.m., fearful of having an attack. And you're avoiding. You know, you really didn't have to come all this way. I don't need drugs. Terry, you're sick. You've progressed from anxiety attacks to mild agoraphobia. If you get to full-blown agoraphobia, you don't want to do that. You'd be a prisoner in your own mind. Damn it. Just... Just tired. I know that's it. Well, the medication is here, if you want it. I'll call you tomorrow.
Hey, Lem. It's Kenny. Hey, man, I hate to bother you on Sunday, but uh, I need you to come to work today. One of the guys didn't show up, and then one called in sick. Now, I've been taking calls myself just to keep the workload under control. Uh, hey, so call me, all right? Man, you look like you just lost your best friend. You want to talk about it? No. All right, then. Hey, this is Chad Waytoan. Did you call Forto? Yeah, well, I'm in front of your car right now. All right. Great. I'll start hooking it up. Here. I don't get girls. If she wanted to break up with me so bad, she should have just said so instead of making it look like it was my fault. And then I catch her all hugged up with Tommy kissing him in public where the whole world can see him even though everybody knows she was with me. And how can she let him touch her butt? I never got to touch anything, but Tommy moves I didn't even get to. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Son, it seems like you just experienced what every man has to deal with sooner or later. I promise you, there are gonna be other girls. A lot more girls. How many? A, a lot. Just... <laughs> well, finally, here she comes right now. Reggie's cousin? Man, I knew it. I knew I was gonna have to pay for this somehow. Okay, if she tries to bust me in front of my dad, I'll just pretend like I don't know what she's talking about. No, she's been in our house. She'll tell him she was there, and he'll tell him I mean, she'll lose her mind. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. All right. Um, hey, this is my son, Ahmad. He's hanging out with his dad today. Hi, Ahmad. Uh, Why well, look up and greet the woman? <laughs> okay, stay calm. She hasn't recognized me yet. All right. I just need a little distraction, that's all. Hey, hey! And I'm not strong, too. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, okay. How much help I'll be. Um... I want to be kind if I don't want anybody else. Okay, it's, it's, it's okay. Listen, I'll be over there in a second. Okay? Thank you. Bye. Oh, I know. Tell me what's wrong. Hello? Hey, Max, it's Damon. How are you? Hey, I'm, I'm good. Uh, yeah, listen, I, I need a favor. You drove on Sunday. Yeah. Can he pay any overtime? No, I didn't even come up. He needed help, so I came in. Yeah, well, we know you're new and everything, but the drivers, we gotta stick together. That means no more driving Sunday for straight pay, even if you are related. <laughs> Why not? Because Ultimate Towing pays their drivers time and a half for weekends, double time for holidays. Well, last time I checked, this wasn't Ultimate Towing. Yeah, but if one of us breaks rank, we all lose. Yeah. I got a wife and kid to support. Wait, wait, hold on. I got a wife and a kid, too. Kenny's got a wife and three kids. But you guys already know that, so what is this really about? We bent over backwards for this place since day one. Working longer hours for less money than, than we could be making somewhere else. And now Kenny hits it big and we get nothing. 
It sounds like your beef is with Kenny, not me. He ain't listening to us. Yeah. Have you guys tried talking to him? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys got issues, and Kenny's just supposed to be able to read your minds? Hey, he's made us all kinds of promises. And remind him. We shouldn't have to. Ever since he got that big city contract, he's hiring more drivers, buying new trucks. What about us? I, I've been with Chadway Towing since the beginning. And I got no raise, no promotion, no nothing. You really think that's fair? Look, excuse me, but you guys ain't gonna put me in the middle of this. Like I said, you need to talk to Kenny. What's with this guy? Thanks for coming. I didn't know that was the problem. Oh, don't worry about it, Jamie. Here's the baby. Right here. Hey, hi. I'm Maxine. Oh, hi, Samantha. And this is my baby, Ava. Uh, hey, Ava. Hi. Hey. May I? Hey. How long has she been crying like this? Hours. I I've tried everything. She's not wet. She won't eat. Have you checked her temperature? Well, no. I she didn't seem hot, so I didn't think to check it. Oh, sometimes you can only tell by taking the temperature. I'm sorry, Damon. I just haven't had time to get a new nanny. We just let Michelle go the other day. It's okay. Maxine's got three kids. It's gonna be okay. Okay, okay. Oh, it's 103. I think we should take Ava to the hospital. Oh, no, I need, I need Kevin. No, look, you, you take the baby to the hospital and I just get it, okay? Go. I got it, I got it. I got it. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. If you got a car seat, I'll drive. Kevin, I know you're in there. Kevin! Hey, sir, man. I didn't know it was you. Come on in. Damon, this is Michelle. Michelle, this is Damon. Hey, Damon. Hey. You got any nanny? Ex nanny, ex. She's my new personal assistant. <laughs> hey, Ava's sick. I, I told Samantha we'd meet at the hospital. Why didn't you call me? I called you four times. Your cell phone's off. No, no, no. Shit, man, the battery's dead. Okay, what's wrong with her? She's running a temperature. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just finish up here and I'll head right over. No, no, look, look, she needs you now. Oh, let's calm down, Damon. It's all right. Kids get fevers all the time. Look, go to the goddamn hospital, Kevin. Excuse me, man. But need I remind you that I pay you 10% of my salary? Oh. In other words, I employ you. Hey, hey, you turn your back on me, and I guarantee you that your career will come to a premature halt, man. You don't have the power to end anyone's career but your own. Go to the hospital, don't go, that's up to you. But if you're one millisecond late tomorrow at the Oxywater meeting, you have to find yourself a new manager. Hey, Kenny. Hey, how's it going out there? Great. Good. But I uh, need to talk to you about something if you got a minute. Yeah, I'll shoot. I just want to give you a heads up. I was having a little chat with the boys, and they were saying that. Uh, the boys, huh? Yeah, you know, the drivers. Man, they tripping. About what? Well, it looks like to me they may have some legitimate concerns. Maybe you should listen to them. Did Al send you in here to speak to me? Nobody sent me, Kenny. <laughs> you told me your door was always open, so here I am. All right, well, uh... If you tell the boys, when they're ready to face me like men, I'm ready. No more of this sneaking around having secret meetings behind my back. Okay. I'll tell him. You do that. Hey, it's really good to see you. You're five minutes late. Hello. Sorry. Lucky for you, they're 15 minutes late. Actually, Damon, you're the one that's lucky. Wow. Talking to me like that yesterday. Yeah, I think I should have fired you on the spot. All right, pay attention to your tongue. Mm. This is very important. Mm -hmm. You're going to dredge up your phony smile and your snake oil salesman charm. 
and you're gonna turn it on for these marketing execs. Oh, and you keep using that pissed off little parent tone with me? I might be looking for another manager. And I'm not cluing these marketing execs for what an irresponsible flake you are. You're bluffing. <laughs> Who do you think those marketing execs hang out with, huh? Other marketing execs? You'll never get another endorsement deal offer. All right, fine. Fine. You win. I'll be good in your little meeting. Damon, your 10 o'clock is here. Send him in. Hello. Good morning. Damon Carter, nice to meet you. Have a seat. Kevin Tucker, nice you. How are you? you? Pleasure. Hey, how are you doing? Someone called, said my car was ready. Oh, um, yeah, Vicky, right? Right. Right, right. Um, well, you can go into the office there. My secretary will get you to sign a release form. You can sign it and get uh, the keys back. Okay, thanks. Right. Uh, hey, boy. Hey. Hi, Ahmad. She does remember me. She didn't rat me out. Uh, I'm still the man. Hey, uh, Chadwick. We gotta talk. What's on your mind? You're living fat off that city contract you just got. It ain't none of us seen a dime of the money. Yeah, we're working the same hours for the same pay as before and less money than half the other drivers in town. Yeah. Look, I work my ass off here, Kenny. I just want to be rewarded for my efforts. Plain and simple. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah. All right, well, I heard you out. Let me say something. Well, Tony, do you remember when you got that, uh, that DUI and I let you ride shotgun to help out with the tolls until you were able to get your, your, you know, straightened out with your license? I didn't question you about it because I knew you would handle it. Yeah, and you did. And Barry, remember when you, uh, asked me to loan you a month's salary? Well, man, I didn't tell you I was in the bank. I gave it to you because I knew you were good for it. Now, all of this started because you didn't want to work a Sunday shift that you begged me for so you would have extra cash for your new baby. Well, what's really up with the, the city contract, Kenny? Oh, man, I won't see a nickel of, of this contract until after the first year. That's all it did was made it easier for me to go into that bank and ask for a loan so I can get new trucks. Now, come on, fellas. I will not hold out on my team. But I have to say that I am disappointed on how easy and quickly you would give up on me. here. Could help your incubator client get out of his cubbyhole. Knew that was inevitable, knowing Damon's father. The apple never falls very far from the tree. Well. Terry, may I have the courtesy of your attention for a moment? Yeah. Well, Lawrence and I spoke with a couple of the senior partners. We've decided this situation is less than ideal. Despite the best of hopes and intentions, this firm is not a good fit for you. I don't... What are you... It's nobody's fault, just oil and water. They don't mix. Huh. From the Alderman Davis situation to that thing you pulled with Robertson Steele, to the way you handled Gina and Chris, we're not comfortable. You're firing me. Well, that's not what we'll say to people, and I invite you to say anything you like. No. I'll say I was fired. If you want to answer those kinds of questions, you're welcome to. No, Ray, you're the one who'll have questions to answer. I brought in more business in the past three months than anyone in this firm. I've billed more than anyone, and I haven't lost a single case. 
This is the kind of person Morn Freeman fires. I'm not going to get into polemics, so cool down. I'm as cool as can be. You can wrap this up in whatever manner you want, Ray. You and I both know I'm being fired because you would rather have people around here who kiss your ass than people who can do the work. I'll expect you off the premises in the next two hours. Obviously, you'll receive a substantial settlement. Obviously. Everything. 